Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento guys, practically any generation with a 2.4 GDI engine guys. If you have a 2.4 GDI engine, you want to know if you have a timing chain or timing belt stability, we will explain that in this video today guys. And we will also talk about replacing the timing chain or timing belt, what you have guys, and uh, how often you should replace it. So stay with us, we will cover very helpful information that can save you quite a bit of money. So this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years, for instance they start using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016-17 depending on the market guys, and that's a 2.4 GDI engine, so before we start let me introduce you to the channel, every single car we get at the garage guys, we take them completely apart and we make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos, why we do all that, simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can, all we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you, also guys if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from, specifically this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on and with that being said okay uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle check our main channel out to repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this right here guys is a 2.4 GDI engine that can be found in Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento we have it completely out, okay, we've been taking it apart and we want to show you guys if it has timing chain or timing belt. We have the complete, okay, procedure for replacing the timing component, so all that will be on our channel, check it out, everything from start to finish, and we'll teach you how to fix anything on that engine. So we have the valve cover, okay, pre-loosened, everything is removed, so we can pull it out and show you what we have here, the moment of the truth that many of you are asking about. And also, I want to talk about something that most people never do, and you should, okay, do it quite often because uh, it can actually okay uh, cause guys okay harm to your engine to the point that you may need new engine guys so check it out you have timing chain now many of you will get happy because you practically people think you don't need to replace timing chains that's not the scenario guys okay these modern vehicles the timing chains okay you have variable timing system you have more okay yeah, more weight here on the chain as well and uh, they tend to guys actually those chains stretch okay and uh, tensioners sooner or later start malfunctioning so timing chain components in my opinion still need to be replaced we currently replaced one on a bmw that failed at 71,000 miles one failed at 84,000 miles guys so uh, and uh, on Volkswagen usually and things like that, the timing chain components often fail around 80 to 100,000 miles. So in my opinion, if you have a timing chain, uh, myself, I replace it, okay, on Hyundai vehicle at about 60 to 100,000 miles, depending on how it was driven. So, uh, and when you replace the timing chain components, it's recommended to replace the timing gears as well, not just the chain uh, itself, because if the chain was stretched, okay, the teeth will be stretched, and uh, those stretched teeth, if you put new chain on them, they will stretch the new chain quite, uh, quite fast as well. So, you can see that's timing chain, and if you want to see the complete video how to replace timing chain on Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento, the whole video will be on the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.